what's going on Samurai? So welcome to today's video. I am Sam, Sam I am, and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about how to set up a photo strip for your photo booth software. But before we do that, make sure to go down and click that subscribe button. We would love to have you as part of the familia. Also make sure to follow me on all my social media at Sam Angelo. All right, Sam Rice, before we jump into today's tutorial, I want to talk a little bit about photo booths. So here at Angelo Productions, we custom build all of our photo booths for our clients. So if our clients need something gigantic and big that they can put a lot of people in, we can build that for them. If they want something small and intimate, we can build that too. If they want it with their logo on it, we have that as well. But of course, to run a photo booth, we need photo booth software and we use DSLR booths. Not really a reason for that. It's just the one we happen to like and be using at this time. Today Today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to build your photo strip template inside of Photoshop and then we're going to show you how to bring it into DSLR booth and set it up all right guys let's get going with the tutorial all right Sam Rice as you guys can see we are now inside of Photoshop and we're going to talk about how to set up the photo strip template now this is not the only method out there this is just the one I like to do I like to build it as basically two templates so there's the background layer and then there's a PNG layer so that's anything that's going to go over top of the photo so at the end of the day we're going to end up with two files we're going to have a JPEG which is going to be our background and then we're going to have a PNG which is going to be anything that's going to overlay over top of our photo like these frames here so as you guys can see we created a basic four by six uh, background and then we just added whatever we wanted on it all of our decorations and our, our little layout and there's two files so there is the background which you're looking at right now and then there is of course the frames which is are going to go over top of the photo so when we export this we're going to export this as a PNG and then we're going to export this which still does have the frame image on it so when I'm inside of DSLR booth I have a area that I know I need to put those pictures in so that's just a reference point so we still leave the frames but this is going to be exported as a jpeg so when we get over into dslr booth you'll see exactly what i mean so we're going to go ahead and export this here we're going to go in file we're going to go to save as we're going to go here jpeg and we will call this one we'll click save and we're going to make sure it's high res then we're going to click off here click on here we're going to go to file uh save as again we'll call this two boop and we will go in here and we will go down to png and we will click save again and export so now we have our two files all right guys let's hop over into dslr booth and i'll show you how to go from there all right sam Rice, so the first thing you need to do is launch dslr booth and once you've launched dslr booth at the top of the bar you're going to see something that says template click on template and it will open up this template editor right here for you so now we're ready to set up our photo strip template so the first thing we're going to do is click on image and bring in that background image that we made the jpeg so we're going to open it up now you'll see it comes in very small we need to make it the right size so we have already four by six selected here it's in vertical so everything is right but we need to stretch the image now so we're going to come over to this side of the window we're going to make this four we're going to make this six and then of course we're going to make the position zero zero that way we know everything is dead center and everything is lined up perfectly all right now it's time to put in the slugs of where we want the photos to appear uh when the photo booth software is running so we're going to come over here and click photos for booth and click on it and we will get our slug to appear and we want to do our best to line it up and make it the perfect size of the frame now it's the first one that you need to get right the rest we're just going to duplicate since it is a mirror image so uh, photo one will be one two will be two and three will be three so once you have this lined up and set up how you want it come over to where it says layers and click on duplicate and you will get another perfect copy and just line it back up with the corners again and we should be good now click duplicate again and even though it says one 
we can come right down here to where it says photo number and change it to two so that will be the second shot and then we're going to duplicate two again just like we did with one line that guy up and of course we need to repeat this process one more time so we're going to duplicate it change it to photo three line it up and then of course duplicate photo three so now we have our template pretty much set up so photo one will be a mirror image one two will be a mirror image two and three will be a mirror image of three so now all we need to do is bring in our png now for this png that we're bringing in it's just these frames and the reason i do this is just to clean up any edges so any parts where maybe i went over or uh i left a little bit of white space by putting this png of the frame image on top of the photo slugs it just cleans up that edge so all i need to do is go to where it says image click on the png and bring it in now you will see again it's small so we need to do the same thing make it four by six and then of course zero zero to position it correctly over top of our frames all right sam rice now that our photo strip template is all set up and it's ready to be used with our photo booth all we need to do is come up to the top click save as new click create and we are ready to go all right let's take a look at our template in use All right, Samurais, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to ask them in the comment section of this video. And as usual, I will put a link to DSLR Booth in the description of the video. And until next time, remember to dream big, think bigger, and always be you. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.